Good morning, everyone. I'm Paul from China Medical University Hospital, China Medical University in Taichung, Taiwan. Today, I'm going to talk about the non tuberculous microbacteria in Asian Pacific region. As you know, the microbacteria, including the microbacteria tuberculosis complex and the non tuberculosis microbacteria. In recent years, the clinical importance of the non tuberculosis microbacteria is increasing. In, in, the, in the world. The outline of my talk is include the uh, epidemiology, particularly the species and the species the distribution of, in our region, and also the deal with the uh, environmental niche and the diseases. And uh, finally, I will describe uh, some outbreak of the crown spread in the world. As we know, the Different kinds of non tuberculosis microbacteria affect the human and uh, to associate different kinds of the infection. For example, the most important infection will be the, the pulmonary infection and the skin substitution infection. For pulmonary infection, the majority of the etiology or NTM include the MAC, avian complex intracellular and the canola. And also the mycobacterium cancer and the mycobacterium aspergillus complex. And another one is the skin and the soft tissue infection, the via the, the surgery or trauma or broken skin the barrier or containing contaminated water. So the most important the uh, microorganism in the MCN should be the microbacterial abscess of the complex and also the neck. And uh, the most important and the most serious uh, uh, infection is the disseminated infection, the immunocompromised patient, particularly with the MC. TNA is the antibody therapy or HIV infection. So the disseminated infection, the most important will be the microbacterial avian complex, intracellular complex. And in some countries, they have the problem of the hemophilia and the genetic. And in children, they have the, the, the associated with the surgical neuropathomitis. And the, the most important will be the scrofulosis and the avian and the other the unusual the MGN. So this is the very common the clinical infection associated with the NGM. And uh, this is the very common the situation of the NGM infection in the lung, so-called in the, in the patient with the project pathis and with the mycobacterium as this is complex infection and we are called the long-term the, the formal infection and the very difficult to treat. And also, the, the very common the disease is the skin and the soft tissue infection due to the rapid growing mycobacterium, for example, mycobacterium abscessive complex or slow growing the mycobacteria. So you can see here the skin agent here, and also the, uh, the, some problems related to the cosmetic the procedure. And also, in some compromised host, we have the, the skin and the soft tissue infection. So very common is the vegetable microbacterium and the skin sufficient infection in the clinical setting. And also we can find the some skin and the substitute infection caused by slow growing microbacteria, for example, Maryland and the hemophilon and the cancer and the and the man. So all this teaching and the all these infections are clinically are some acute or chronic infection, not the acute infection. So if the clinical setting is due See the patient with the chronic skin lesion in the immunocompromised host or not, not always immunocompromised host. With the skin tissue infection, we have to do some microbiology study for microbacteria. And also, uh, some very unusual like MTM called the, the other things. The other things are very interesting because we have uh, several cases of the, the other things infection that always occurred in on the hand with the, the skin temperature infection on the hand. So it's very interesting that uh, we can see the some cases of the uh, all pain. But actually this is a very unusual the uh, MTM. So in the clinical laboratory clinical laboratory we have to do some extensive uh, the identification the major to, to, to identify this unusual MTM. So how to identify the MTM? The TB, microbacterial tuberculosis, is quite common and quite easy to, 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 to re really identify in the clinical laboratory. But for non tuberculosis microbacteria, more than 2,000 different kinds of NCMH could be found in the 
in the clinical setting, but the most important will be the changing to surgery. So in this, the so-called structured CDP or MTN IVP chip, this is a, a PCR-based and a probe hybridization method to identify the multiple drug resistance, so-called resumption resistance TB and the microbacterial tuberculosis, and also the 16 different kinds of non tuberculosis microbacteria. The identification of the accuracy rate of identification for the microbacterial species was more than 95% in all studies. So this is the array, array the, the, the allocation the arrangement for the, the different kinds of the non tuberculosis microbacteria. But if, if you can see here, it, it is some very common uh, NGM species. But in the clinical setting, we can see some the subspecies of the common the, the non tuberculosis microbacterial species. So in the clinical setting, we can see some so called subspecies. But it's related to the clinical relevance. So we need an extensive molecular method to identify not only the, the so called the, the, the simple, the commercialized uh, molecular method. So we can use RPO team and the, the history protein 65 and the CS ribosome RNA and the internal transcript, the paper, so called the ITS, to identify the common the species complex and uh, into the different species. For example, Microbacterial abscesses can be defined in those three major subspecies, abscesses, nutrients, and the Valencia. Even though in current years they have the, some the, the, the detail of the, the, the subspecies, maybe divided into two different kinds of species, is this enough or not? But this is the, 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 the issue. And the, another is the Microbacterial avian complex. To be defined to the subspecies of paratrophic, paratrophic tuberculosis, avian, avian subspecies is divided to the, and also the hominisuris. And the hominisuris is the most common, the microbacterial avian complex with the species. And also we can see the intracellular complex. And also we can see a lot of different kinds of subspecies here. For example, we have the Colombiensis, we have the, the Chimera. The uh, increasing uh, clinically uh, the, the, the important the recent uh, in recent years. So this is the, another problem we could uh, could not identify to subspecies in the clinical laboratory, but have to use the uh, extensive the molecular method. Even though in the most laboratory we have the Mavitol, and the Mavitol also cannot identify the the complex the, the microbacterial abscesses complex. Avian complex or avian transceiver complex into the settings that is a species label. So, this is another drawback of the laboratory common use, the, the identification of the, the device. So, even though the, the model top, we cannot use them to accurately identify the species of the MGM. And, but in the, in the laboratory, if you have the, the model top, you can use the big data and uh, identify and uh, and it's challenging your own the database to identify the, your isolate, the abscessal complex isolate into the mesh and the, and the abscessal using your own database. So if you have enough, the, the clinical isolate with settings, the, the isolate settings, the specification of the microbacterial abscessal complex, and you can use your own database to identify this three subspecies for microbacterial abscessal complex. So this is the, the identity the subspecies. So let me introduce the, the first one part is the epidemiology, the basis and the subspecies in our region. So data from Japan, the 1980 to 2014. So you can see here is the increase in the, the pulmonary lung tuberculosis microbacterium disease in comparison, in comparison of the, the cultural post the pulmonary tuberculosis. So in the most country, in Asia Pacific, we can see the increasing of the NTM pulmonary disease, but actually has a decrease in the incidence of the pulmonary disease. And also you can see the, the, the recent publication from the South Korea, the Yonsen the, the Hospital, the data from 2007 to 2019. So also you can see here the increasing the rate of the NTM among the old microbacterial isolates here. 
So in 2019 in South Korea, about the 40 percent, 45 percent of the the chemical mycobacterial species are done to the first mycobacteria. So about 40 to to to, to 80 percent. So uh, regarding the, the data from, from Taiwan, this data from the National Taiwan University Hospital. So we also see the increasing rate of the the lung the, the NGN human disease and also the the decreasing of the tuberculosis diseases. So this is the very common the, the situation. And the, in recent years, the, after the two, uh, 2012, the similar situation also could be found in the National Taiwan University Hospital and other hospital in the in, in Taiwan. And the, looking at this, the, the, the colorful slide, and the, you can see the the NTM disease in Asia and the species distribution. So you can see the the, the blue one is the genomic, genomic, genomic. So you can see here in China and in India, the, the most important the NTM isolation is the genome and followed by the fortuitan and the and the Kintasia. So you can see the, the, the colorful distribution. And also you can see in the South Korea, in Singapore, and in, in Hong Kong, the most important item will be the the mycobacterium avian complex, not the, the vertical mycobacterium, mycobacterium genome. And also in, in Saudi Arabia and the Taiwan. Taiwan also we have the, the, the most important NTN is the man. But in the, in the, in the Saudi Arabia, the most important are status followed by for children and the men. So you can see here different countries have a different problem of the NTN, the different situation of NTN. But as we know, the, the majority of the NTN in the clinical specimen are still the retired species specimen. The more than half are colonization or contamination, not the real the infection. So clinically for the isolation or NTN, we have to identify the clinical levels of the, the NTN, NTN uh, isolation. Data from Japan, 2012 to 2013, just identify the intracellular and the avian complex the distribution, even in Japan, varied with uh, different region of Japan. So you can see a different region in the, in the same hospital has a different distribution of the neck, the intracellular uh, or the, the avian complex. And also in, in, in Japan, the formerly net the infection, actually the female, is the, the, the population of female, the risk of the NTN down infection, neck infection in female is, is more than the, the, the male. So the female is a high risk for the NTN, the formerly neck infection. And also data from, from Korea, and the, the most important is they identify the different different studies that touch on the, this issue. But you can see here around the 40 to 70% of the mycobacterium, the clinical isolate are uh, NTN. So NTN around the, all the mycobacterium species are about the 40 to 70% is here in, in Korea. And also it's more, most important will be the avian contact, and particularly the, the intracellular. And also you can see the, the recent study also in South Korea by age. So you can see here the, the mycobacterium intracellular isolate, the age by age, the more than 70 and the less than 70. So you can see here the max uh, isolation is more common in the age, in the old age is year more than this age more than 70 years old. So this is the distribution related to the to the age. Looking at the data from China, so they use the extensive uh, molecular measure to identify the mycobacterium species. So they totally identified 70, the yeah, 27 species. The most important, the most predominant is intracellular, followed by the avian, astrocytes, gordome, and the NICN. So they also identify very unusual the NTM in China. But very important, very interesting is the NTM among the all mycobacterium isolated in different the, the province of, of China. You can see here from 4% to, to 13%. 
So the average is around the 10 percent. So this is quite low in comparison with data from the Korea from 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 Taiwan. So the non security micro vaccines could be maybe underestimated in the in China. And also back to the, the data from Korea, the clinical significance of the alien contact. So they identified the 2,219 men, which by the way, I saw also they used the extensive monitoring method to identify the microbiotic avian complex in previous species label. So the most important among the, the, the around the 220 net isolates, 128 microbiotic complex, but the four are homogeneous. And among the intracellular complex, the most important is the intracellular followed by chimera. So the chimera is increasing in the in Korean, also that I will show you in, in, in Taiwan. So this is the subsidies distribution in Korea. And then in Taiwan, we, we use the, the molecular method to identify the alien complex in two of the species table. So the most important in Taiwan is the subspecies hominism followed by the colony aensis and the intracellular. So that, but very important, very interesting is the columbiensis, the all HIV infected patient. And with the 30 days, the mortality is higher in comparison with the, the disease caused by other microbacterial avian complex. And uh, all this isolate, even though the high mortality rate, but all susceptible to cryogenizing, mostly processing, and the uh, manageable. And for hominid suicide, the SMPTO and the coronal MIT is Increase increased after exposure. So we can see here different uh, subspecies that have, have the different clinical impact and also the antibacterial susceptibility the, the setting. And the next part that I will share with you the environmental niche and the disease caused by related to the, the NTM. So the NTM is the water and the, and the soil reservoirs, share with the human and the, and the protected in the um, uh, uh, animal. So NTM in the human activity on ecology. NTM are very common inhabitants of natural environment, soil and the waters. And also in my way, they will come in contact with human or animals. So NTM requires a very deep minimal the nutrition at the growth. And also disinfect, also resistant to disinfectant. And also preference for the isolation of COVID resident in the in the aerosol. Can attachment to the pile of service. So they can cause a lot of the clinical problem related to because the human behavior associated with this kind of the, 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 the situation. So it's the infection and the transmission of drinking is drinking water. And the generalization of aerosol in either house household or industry. And the the engine will be closing there. So human behavior will lead to the selection and proliferation of NTM inhibit and uh, lead to the possible increase in NTM diseases. Give me some example is uh, water. Australia, for instance, uh, they can identify the non microbacterium, microbacterium, particular microbacterium affected in the, in the portable water, in the rainwater tank, swimming pool, etc. USA, portable water, and the medicine in the fish spot. Fish spot is very common in some countries, particularly in, the, in some Asian countries. And also the NTM could be found in the animals in Australia and the dolphin in the United States and the fishes in Taiwan and China and the cat in Mexico and it can cause the sporadic epidemic of lung infection related to the, the animal that is causing and the environment is causing. Give me an example in Taiwan we have the cases of sustaining of the microbacterial abscessive infection and the we can the patient is the bacterial body caused by microbacterial abscessive with the patient with autoimmune disease. The isolate, isolated from the bacteremia, isolated from the lymph node, and also could be identified in the shell head. So this uh, particular in, interior surface of the shell head. So this is the, the, the I think it's very really common situation of the waterborne, the microbacterial abscessive infection. This is the case from the, the source of the isolate from the shell. Head. And the, the, the fish spot, very really common in Taiwan and also in other countries. 
and the, the, the fish spine, also fish fin, could be a, a, a major for the tentacle. So the, the fish affect the, 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 the feet and it cause the small wound and it, and it cause the anterior infection. So in the, in the past, we can identify some cases of the anterior infection related to the fish spine. And also related to the tattoo ink, it also could be, could, could be reported in the, in, in the United States, and also in the some country in the Asian Pacific region. And the, finally, I would like to share some of the interesting part of the coronal spread and the and outbreak related to the NTA. And this is the summarized of the iotrogenic outbreak due to microbiotic in Asia. So you can see from 1998 to 2015, a lot of countries reported the iotrogenic outbreak related to abscesses. And the, the predisposing factor will be the invasive procedure and the CS and also the, the surgery and the drug injection or also the acupuncture and the intramuscular injection and also the penicillin injection, also the, the outpatient surgeon related to the, 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 the invasive procedure or injection, which is the allergenic outbreak, causing the different the number of the cases with the microbiome abscesses infection. And uh, this, uh, this is the first uh, outbreak of the NTN occurred in, in the National Taiwan University Hospital in the 1992. 123 patients underwent the, the, the bronchoscopy with the Olympus the P20. And the 70, 76 uh, had the, the, the bronchial washing for bacterial study. And a 21 patient with a post and the 18, 18 was identified as the mycobacterium pinola. So the 18 the patient, about the 18 patient, A treated as the mycobacterium infection. But after the, the microbiology investigation and the environment investigation, we found that the isolate comes from the, the uncertified the disinfected patient by the by the automatic washing machine in the, in the bronchoscopy. So this is the, the component of the bronchoscopy and associated with the mycobacterium pinole infection. Now, the not infection is the, is the, the contamination and of course the pseudo operate in the, in the hospital. So this is the quite the earlier in the in National Taiwan University Hospital. So we changed the, 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 the clinic, the, the procedure, and we use the, the, the more intensive, the, this infection, the, the procedure. And also in, in, in National Taiwan University Hospital, we also identified a unique strength of mycobacterial abscesses complex. It's called the mycobacterial mycelium, the type of 101 strength. And uh, we can find it in the, in the ECMO, the wound, the injection site, the insertion site, the wound is the, the, this scrum on the mycobacterium mycelium. But finally, my patients with, with the, the stigma, the, the clinical infection, and we do the, the, the microbiology and the environment the investigation to find the, the possible, the, 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 the source of the microbiome. And the finally, we identify the, the outbreak is associated with the ultrasound and the transmission chair in this chair. In the uh, open chair, we can identify the mycobacterium mycelium. So this is the, the outbreak of the mycobacterium mycelium related to the, the medical procedure. And uh, finally, it's very important in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the past couple of years, is the mycobacterium chimera belonging to the mycobacterium intracellular complex. The outbreak is related to the, the heater in the in the cooler system. So some countries actually can uh, uh, report the, this phenomenon, the mycobacterium chimera related to the heater and the cooler, cooler system. But in Taiwan, we did the, do the investigation for the possible link of the cooler system, heater cooler system with the mycobacterium chimera, but we could not find the association. But unfortunately, we found the the about the microbacterial avian complex lung disease, we can identify the, about the 
11.3% of the mass actually is the microbacterial chimera. So microbacterial chimera is also a very important pathogen associated with the, the lung disease. And the, the treatment with macro-based enrichment could result in, in better clinical outcome for patients with microbacterial chimera uh, infection. And the, the last two slides show you the global, the, the clones of the class of the microbiome assisting the, the ISO. In, the, the, in, in, this, in the investigator, they identified the four, four, four categories of the microbacterial abscesses. One is the abscesses of class one and the class two. And uh, related to the abscesses and uh, also the material. So they can find the different class distributed in different countries. So different countries have a different uh, the class of distribution. For example, UK and the USA, you can find a different color. And the, the most important is they identify the, if the isolate is the class related to the class, related to the specific of the crown, the, the, the related to the foreign disease is non significant But if the isolate is the crown, Related or cluster related, they be associated with more drug resistance and the more current current infection. And the isolated with the cluster clusters, the some clones, they have the more phagocytosis, tended to be phagocytes by the, the macrophage, and they could be survived intracellular survival, with longer in, 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 in the intracellular survival. So indicate the, the different current of the MTA, for example, microbiome access to mesrian, can result in different clinical the, 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 the situation and also in the pathogenic potential will be different. So this is the, the, the I would like to talk and in summary is the MTM is increasing important in the Asian Pacific region and the related to the environment that is exposure and also difficult to treat for, for, for some species maybe more drug resistant. And uh, finally, the crawl spread is very important and the outbreak in the hospital can occur. So thank you very much for your kind of attention. Thank you.